Good morning, everyone. I'm really lucky to have you today. I am uh, going to introduce today the Prism Perfect. The Prism Perfect is one of the grammar lessons that it's really confusing. Prism Perfect is kind of the uh, grammar tenses that we have to use. Grammar, we know that it's kind of boring, but it's really important. But it's really important. Let's try to get the form first. The most important part that you have to know what are the usage of the, the grammar tense and how do we use them. So the first part that we have to know in the present perfect, the present perfect form. What is the present perfect form here? The present perfect, the, the present perfect form here is con, uh, contains of, uh, consists of have and has plus the past participle. Okay, so let's try again to remember what is have and has used with. It's have used with I, we, you, they, and plural nouns. We use these with have. So when I say I, I have to use have. You have. Plural nouns have. Everything that could be used with have uh, exists here. So I, we, you, and they, and the plural nouns. Then has. Okay, try to remember again, we used has in the present simple with he, she, it, and singular nouns. So do not forget that these two are going to be important to be used in the present perfect form. Okay, this one and this one is known in what? In the present simple. We have taken them before in the present simple. Great. What is this one for? The present perfect. We know it's present perfect, but this one is what? The past participle. What is the past participle here? The past participle is the third form of the verb. So it's the, the third form of the verb. Okay, so let's try to remember back what are the verbs that we have known in the past. We knew the present simple form. The present simple form. It's the first form of the verb. We have sleep, leap, wake, choose, and feed, meet, beat, uh, eat. So these are the verbs that we have known in the present. Okay, what is the past of sleep? Huh? Slept, leap, leapt, wake, walk, choose, chose, feed, fed, meet, met, beat, beat, eat, ate. Okay. So Mr. Muhammad Gaman has drawn something here. He drew something. These by red color. What are these, Mr. Muhammad Gaman? These are the third form of the verb. This is the past participle. Okay. So can you tell me, please, how could we use them? We're going to use them next to have and has. After them directly, this is going to be the question that we're going to answer, but after a while. Okay? So we know now that the present perfect is have or has plus the past participle. Have or has plus the past participle. Okay? So that's perfect. Let's go to the verbs that we call them the past participle verbs. It's the third form of the verb. Like we have the first form, the second form, and the third form. Okay, let's try to talk about the first form that we have. Uh, let's talk about the third one that we're going to know here. We have sleep, slept, slept. Leap, leapt, leapt. Wake, walk, walking. Choose, chose, chosen. So chosen is the third one. Walking is the third one. Leap, leapt, leapt. So leapt is the last one and the one that we're going to use in the present perfect. Okay? So that's going to be really easy. What about some verbs that we have now we can just sit them in, fa in families, such as, look at the sound of the first verb here, sleep, sleep, so sleep, leap, with the same sound, creep, okay, sweep, all of them with the same simple past form and the third form, which is the past participle. Okay, so let's go back again to the sleep, slept, slept, so leap, leapt, leapt, wake, walk, walking. This is not the same because wake is in di different way of pronunciation. So let's say something like these, like sleep and leap. Ha. Sweep, sweep, to sweep the floor. Sweep, swept, swept. Creep, 
like to walk in a way that you are creeping your father is sleeping so creep crept creep is what crept crept it's the same sound it's the same sound okay there is another family which ends with e n such as wake walk walking choose charles chosen we have also beat beat beaten eat ate eaten perfect now you have known the third form it's uh, the past participle form so this is the form that we're going to need in order to set it after having has so perfect until now we can use them what do we have to do here we can there is a rule to understand what does it mean or to form the third for uh, the third form of the verb no there is no way to save it to, to understand it it's for only one way to save it to save it okay so let's start again how to save them this is a good way that i have known from the internet and there is a video that you can set it in order to save these forms okay so let's start again to save them in order to save them with a really good way i know that i am not a usual teacher that could be always in the same way i have to give you a song in order to save it so let's try to see my own way in order to save the third form of the verbs that we're going to use here okay so let's start by this song and it's kind of wonderful first of all right wrote written right wrote written drive drove driven give gave given creep crept crept sleep slept slept get got gotten forget forgot forgot now do they done begin began begun take took taken now shake shook shaken okay this is a good way to save it sleep slept slept Leap, lap, lap. Wake, walk, walking now. Choose, choose, chosen. Feed, fed, fed. Meet, met, met. Beat, beat, beaten now. Eat, eat, eaten. Cut, cut, cut now. Put, put, put. Sit, sat, sat. Steal, stole, stolen. Speak, spoke, spoken. This is a really musical way to save. That's going to be perfect for you. Okay? So, you can say it with me in a song again. Huh? Repeat it. Sleep, slap, slap. Leap, lap, lap. Wake, walk, walking now, choose, chose, chosen. Feed, fed, fed. Meet, met, met. Beat, beat, beaten now, eat, ate, eaten. Cut, cut, cut. Put, put, put. Steal, stole, stolen now, speak, spoke, spoken. Right, road, written. Right, road, ridden. Drive, drove, driven now, give, gave, given. Okay? That's going to be a really good way to save the third form of the verb. And we're going to talk again about the form. We're going to see some examples after a while. Thank you for this part. Okay, welcome back GD4. Today we're going to talk, also we're going to complete talking about the present perfect. We have said in the forms that we have seen a while before, that was kind of uh, regular verbs. We talked about what, which part, the regular verbs. What are them, such as I explained before, such as write, wrote, and written okay so what about the regular verbs the regular verbs are such as the past simple form mm. so now I can understand it regular verbs in the past participle form such as what we have play mm. play so it's got to be play play playing no it's the same way such as we said played played it's not hard the same way in the past the same way in the past participle so this is the past participle form the third form okay give me a lot of examples okay no problem climb climb Huh? Climbed. I, I'm listening. Climbed. Yes. And the third form is climb too. Great. Wonderful. Huh? Watch. Huh? Watched. Watched. So these are not different about all the things that we have known before. Okay? They are the same verbs or the same forms of the verb in the past the same such as then it's here the same here it's 
here. Okay? You can find them with the ED. Perfect until now? Great. So, this, these are the regular verbs of the things that we have taken. The part that we have explained are the irregular verbs. Great. Okay, let's go to the keywords. And it's really important. What are the keywords, Mr. Muhammad? These are the keywords. Just. Already. Yet. Since. For. Ever. And. Never. Okay? These are the keywords. Just, already, yet, since, for, ever, never. Okay. We're gonna what we're gonna take in this one we have also recently and we have lately. But we're not gonna talk and before. But we're not gonna talk about all of the keywords. We have only one, two, three, four. Five. What about since and for? They are not now. You're going to take them in junior five. Okay, because they are figure of times. So we have just already yet, since, for, ever, never. That's going to be really great. If you are going to just save the keywords, it's going to be really good in order to know the tense itself. If you're going to see that one, you didn't ask me since the beginning. You're going to tell me as an example. Mr. Muhammad Gamal, when can we use the present perfect? It's until now, I can see that it's with ED. So I can say, I played. What are the things that make distance? As an example, we're going to take it here. I have played tennis. And I played tennis that's really important that's really important what are the differences this is the part that we have to explain here it's the use and the use is really important we use the present perfect in different ways. The use, we have three uses, but we have only in this year, we're gonna take only one use. What is that use? Okay, when I did an action, I did an action, but I don't Remember, when, but I don't remember, when did I do it? So, when I, remember, when I remember that I did the action, but I don't remember the time, or the time is not important, the importance here, for only the verb, the action that I did, I use the present perfect. That's why you can see all the keywords without a determined time. Such as when I take it as an example, just. Can you figure here the time? I told you, I have just finished my homework. Uh, can I tell you when here? No. Five minutes ago, 10 hours ago, who knows? Okay, so the most important part here is the action, not the time. Thank you, you are perfect, you understood the lesson. Look at already. I have already seen an eagle. I have already seen an eagle. Did I say last week? Did I say last year? I didn't say anything here. So you can understand it. You can understand, you can figure out that this is in the past, the past action, but without a time figure or a figure of a time. Okay, so this is the present perfect use. Look at already, once in the past, but I don't remember the time. Yet. I haven't seen an eagle yet. I haven't seen an eagle yet. 
since I was born until now. Not a specific time here. Not a specific time at all. So you cannot tell me that this is in the past. If we're going to talk about the present perfect, the present perfect versus the past simple, the past simple keywords all are figured in time. They are determined. Such as when I tell you, yesterday, I know, yesterday, today as an example is Sunday, so yesterday was Saturday. It's a figure of time, I know it. But when I leave it open, I focus on only the action, such as here, I have already seen an eagle. I have already seen an eagle. I have seen it. So, I don't say, I, I, I didn't say anything about when did I do it. I don't mention the time. So, the action is more important than the time. I have said already, is already a figure of time? No, it's not a time. Just five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, it's not a figure of time. Ha, what about never since I was born until now? Uh, open, open figures of time, it's not determined. Have you ever in your life did the action or have you ever done the action? It's open also. Have you ever played tennis in all of your lifetime? That's another point to think, okay? Think about that matter. Okay, what about the way to negate them? Such as we have seen already, just, never, ever, and also uh, yet. So already, just, just already, yet, and since, for, ever, never. All of these are open in time. All of them are open in time. You cannot even determine one of them. Okay? So, great. Let's go to the use of all of these keywords. Hmm. Let's get them here. Already and just. These are in affirmative tenses. Ah, ready? Yes, when I tell you as an example that I did the action, such as in here, I have already seen an eagle, means I did the action, it's affirmative. It's what? Affirmative tense here. Got the point? Okay, just, I have just done my homework, means I finished it. So also affirmative. Ha. Huh? Let's go to the up next word. It's never. How we use never? In negative. Thank you. Thank you. In the negative form. Uh, so go back again to never here. Negative. Why? I told you I have never ridden a horse. I have never ridden a horse. Okay. What does it mean here? I have never ridden a horse. It means that I didn't even try it before. In all my lifetime, I didn't do it even once. Okay, however, it's used in the question form. Have you ever done that action? Have you ever played tennis? Means did you play it before in all of your lifetime? Ha, the way that we answer that question, it's the interrogative form. Okay, the interrogative form here for the question. For what? The question. But uh, I told you before that the interrogative form is only for the yes or no question. The question that asks you to answer with yes or no. We have here, I can answer with no, I haven't. I haven't. We added what? N. Apostrophe T or never. So this is a way to negate the tense and this is a way to negate the tense. I can say I have never. I can say I haven't. I can use both. Okay? To negate the tense. Perfect. Okay. So have you ever played tennis? No, I haven't played tennis before he means. Okay? So when I use yes, yes. I have. Or, no, I haven't. You can mention also, no, I have never. And then the verb. 
plus the past participle. But these are all, this one needs you to complete, to write the rest of the tense. Of the sentence. Okay? Great. Let's go to the position. Look at their places. Did I set them here? No. Wrong. It's between the keyword already. It is between what? Verb to have and the past participle. Here also, this is the past participle, right? And this is verb to have. So it's between. I have just done. I have already seen. Never the same between verb to have and the past participle. Great, I can listen to you if you are answering. Wonderful, great. Huh? So, have you ever played? Here, verb to have is away. So it's between you or the subject and the past participle. Ever comes after the subject because we start with the helping verb. It's interrogative form, such as do and does, right? Do you study hard? Do you study hard? So have you ever played? Got it now? Wonderful. Ha haven't this normally done here? No keyword in that tense. Here, I haven't seen that movie yet. Have you ever seen an eagle yet? And that's the fifth one, which is yet. Yet is, is used in what? In two cases. In the negative questions, in the negative forms, and in the question forms. In the negative forms and in the question forms. Okay? That's perfect. Did you understand it now? Nothing hard. We have explained everything, the form itself, and we have said that the past participle con consists of two forms. Maybe it's going to be regular verbs, and we add the ED to the verbs such as watched, played, climbed. This is the third form. And maybe it's going to be irregular, such as right, wrote, written, drive, drove, driven, and these things. Do not forget to finish these as homework. The comprehension page number 30, from 30 to 41. 2 means 30 to 41. And the grammar book from 73 to 75. And we have the last thing to do is to study to study the last page, wait a minute. A study page 96. And also, study page 96 in the grammar book. Okay? So that's it, guys. Don't forget to save the verbs, the regular verbs, such as I said it for the last time, we're going to just listen to the way that we save them. Right, road, written. Right, road, driven. Drive, drove, driven. Now, give, give, given. Creep, creep, creep. Sleep, slept, slept. Get, got, gotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Did, do, do, did, done. Begin, began, begun. Take, took, taken now. Shake, shook, shaken. Kneel, knelt, knelt. Feel, fell, felt. Hide, hid, hidden. Freeze, froze, frozen. Come, came, come, drink, drank, drunk, swim, swam, some, now sing, sang, sung. When I teach it, I taught it. You catch it, you caught it. Don't fight for for it. No way to buy and board it. So buy, board, board, fight, fought, fought, teach, taught, taught. And we have this one as a way to uh, repeat the same verbs such as buy, boat, boat, teach, taught, taught, catch, caught, caught and bring broad broad thank you so much for listening i am really proud of you i know that you are studying stop playing see ya